we always find ourselves at the old Walmart for some reason. There's just something about Walmart that draws me here time after time, day after day. I just, I'm either in the parking lot talking to a camera with people looking at me, or I'm going in there trying to get fishing gear. I don't know what the deal is. What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Obviously I am at Walmart. That doesn't need to be said any more than it's already been said. But we're gonna be doing something that is one of the most requested video ideas on my channel to date. So what is this great video idea that you guys have been requesting so much? Well, I'm glad you asked, Lojo Fishing fam members. As you guys may or may not remember, if you're new, you may not remember, but if you're an old school member of the Lojo Fishing fam, you may remember I have done a few videos featuring various fishing kits. So if you didn't know, Places like Walmart or really any fishing store, any place that sells fishing gear, a lot of them sell pre-made fishing kits. So in these kits, it will be a tackle box filled with different lures, hooks, weights, all the things you would need to just buy one thing and go fishing. So it kind of sounds like fishing kits are all perfect, right? Well not quite the case because every fishing kit no matter how good it might be it always seems like it's missing something either like a favorite lure or a certain kind of hook or you know a different size weight I mean it's just missing something so check it out here's a couple ones right here that I can use as an example here's a little yum crawl bug kit and as you can see it's just it's just a kit here's a list of all the stuff that comes in it. You've got hooks, you've got weights, you've got different kinds of craws. Can't see in there too well, but there you go. There's some of the lures, there's some of the hooks, there's probably weights in one of these little buckets. Here's another one. This is actually one that I've used in a video before, this bass kit. And this was one that I really enjoyed because it had more than just craws like that kit. It had a bunch of different soft plastics. Look, there you got hooks, all that good stuff. They've got lizard kits. They've got curly tail worm kits. I mean, look at all these different kits right here, guys. So if you haven't, you know, used one of these before, you really should, they're pretty cool. But like I said, they're always missing something. So in today's video, you guys have been requesting a ton. Lojo, please make your own fishing kit. So I'm assuming what you guys want to see is me taking an empty tackle box, right? And filling it with lures, hooks, terminal tackle, you know, hard baits maybe, anything that you could buy no matter where you are in the country. So that would be the goal, is for no matter where you're bass fishing at, you could take this kit and catch fish with it. No matter where you are, what season it is, what the water is like where you are, just have something for everybody. So that is exactly what we're gonna do today because like I've said a million times, if you guys hit me with a great idea for a video, I'm gonna listen and I'm gonna do it. We're also gonna have to keep an eye on the budget because I am a budget angler at heart. So we're gonna try to keep the total amount of this thing to be kind of down. I'd like to keep it under $25, but you know, we'll see how we go. As long as we can keep it under 50, I feel like that'll be okay. So the first thing we're gonna need is an empty tackle box and here they are right here. Now my goal would be to find a very inexpensive one. That's really expensive. $14 for a tackle box? Get out of here. Look at that dude right there. This thing is freaking heavy duty. And there's a handle. <laughs> that's that's kind of interesting. I think we're just going to go with something super, super simple. This little Plano 5 to 20 adjustable compartments, the 3600 series. I think that will work just fine for this. Now that we have our tackle box, we need to start filling it with some lures. Now, we're going to go with a couple soft plastics, but like I said, budget's going to be the key. So we're going to have to find something extremely inexpensive, probably going to be maybe one of these $2 zooms right here. I don't see anything that cheap, but uh, let's look around a little bit and see what we can find. I'm just now realizing all of these $2.16 items are lizards, and I know lizards are kind of like a regional thing. People don't use them all across the country. They're really big in the south, especially during the spring, like bedding season. But what I found right down here is a little hidden gem for 216. Check this out. A little U-tail pumpkin chartreuse zoom worm. This bad boy right here, the color and the style of it, it's not a real big worm. It's just kind of like a probably a seven inch, 
curly tail worm and this thing right here this is a fish catching machine guys i mean you can rig this thing a number of different ways but the fact that it's only two dollars and it's got this nice like neutral color it could work in a little dirtier water it could work in clear water that's definitely lure number one since we got a little wormy squirmy i think we want to go with something a little bit more crawl like for this next one let's see these yum christy critters <laughs> christy crawls excuse me they look pretty good let's see these are only 296 and this one is let's see what color this is watermelon candy but basically it's like a green pumpkin with some flake like some red and green flake in it once again very neutral nice color that could work in a multitude of different situations but that's what the bait looks like right there if you guys can't tell it's a nice little crawl presentation with the two flapping you know claws right there and that's important because you can use these not only on a texas rig but you can use them as a jig trailer a chatterbait trailer you know anything like that and just swim it with those little claws they just flap very nicely in the water that's pretty cool moving on from the soft plastic section i feel like i know i said i wanted to make a kit that would work any time of year but since it is summertime i, I would feel like an idiot if i didn't buy a top water frog because um, you got to get some top water in this box for sure that's another thing that a lot of these kits are missing are top waters so we're going to make sure we fix that but we're not going to go with the name brand like really expensive frogs i like those kind of frogs but um, i'm not got my eye on this guy right here dollar 94 ozark trail which is the Walmart brand. A little yellow and black top, but it looks like it has a white bottom. A lot of people get distracted, including myself, get distracted by the top of the frog and what color it is, but the bass can only see the bottom of the frog. So that's the color you want to look at. And this is, a, so this would be a white frog basically. But for $2, how can you beat it? Well, Let's continue to move on here, and I've already found my next lure choice. So, you got the lipless crankbaits, right? And for those of you who don't know what that is, what a lipless crankbait is, something like this, okay? So, it's a hard bait, two treble hooks. You're going to cast this thing out as far as you possibly can, and the, the great part about it, it's a fish catching machine, but it's easy to work. You really can't work it the wrong way. You can just steady retrieve it, you can pop it up and down, and let it fall, but it's a fish catching machine. But once again, we don't want to spend high dollar prices. So let's go with another Ozark Trail item for $2. I mean, you can't beat this. We're getting these, these lures at like crazy cheap rates. We're going to go with the super basic color. Okay, this is a white, like a shad pattern. And I don't care where you are. This will catch fish right here. Depending on the time of year, it may get bitten more often. But this thing right here, I mean, it's, it's a freaking fish catching machine. Now, I already know I'm going to get hammered in the comment section if I don't roll with the jig and jigs are not really my thing i mean you guys get in the comment section and hit me with all your jig knowledge now i have been using jigs a lot more lately because i've been watching people smash big bass on jigs right in front of me so let's rock with this little 3 8 ounce just straight up bass jig for 156 but what's good about this is the first of all the size is good 3 8 of an ounce it's not too big not too small but the color is gonna match up perfectly with the craws that we already got so we can use the craw as a trailer for this bad boy right here. So we're doing good here, guys. We got some different items. We got some different lures that are gonna cover different areas of the water column. I mean, you got this top water. This is like a mid column bait. Got this, it can be worked deep or shallow. We got some soft plastics. I'd like to get one more lure and I'm thinking, uh, I don't know. I, I think I know what I want here. You know what, we're gonna do it. I've been trying to talk myself out of it, but you know what, we're gonna do it. Spinner bait, guys. Just like with the lipless crankbait, all you got to do is cast the dang thing out there, let it sink for a second and start winding it in. Now you can pop it, you can let it sit, it doesn't matter. But my experience just winding it in nice and slow, slow rolling it, just fast enough to where these blades are kicking and the thing's gonna get bit. White, and once again, great color, shad imitation, most of your bait fish are gonna look like this. Now, if you really wanted to get silly, you could put a crawl trailer on the back of that too. Wouldn't match color-wise, but you know what? We're trying to make it work here, guys. And for $244, we've pretty much maxed out our lure budget. So now we need some terminal tackle. So one thing we know we're going to need is hooks for our soft plastics. So this is a big debate among people. People, Some people prefer the extra wide gap which looks like that. It has the, the shank and it goes like a big gap right there and it kind of curves out and around as opposed to your straight shank hook, which is just, as you can see, there's not that big wide bend. There's just a straight shank all the way down to the hook. 
Now I've used both. I mean, I've had good luck with the straight shank and the extra wide gap. So this is where people really are split. So as far as like Texas rigging a worm or something like that, I've heard arguments for both hooks. So once again, you guys hit me in the comment section with your opinions. So let's see here. But since I do have the cross as well, that can be used by themselves, I think I'm gonna go with the extra wide gap for today's video. And here we go, 246, we got some laser sharp eagle claw, wide gap, worm hook. It's a three aught, which I find is a good middle ground. You know, it's not too big, not too small. And the soft plastic lures that we have today are not particularly big. So I think that should work just fine. Last but not least, we need some weights. And if you wanna be a big baller and buy some tungsten weights, that's cool. They are superior to me than lead, but they're also very expensive. And you don't necessarily need them. So let's go with my all-time favorite weight for sinkers, and that's 3 sixteenths of an ounce right there. And these are leads, so you're gonna lose a little bit of sensitivity, but you know what, it's gonna work. And plus, it's a dollar as opposed to freaking five dollars. So I think that's gonna do it. Now, we have our little shopping cart full of stuff. I think I have enough stuff to kind of halfway fill this tackle box and make it into a fishing kit. Lojo's own fishing kit. But one thing remains. We have to go check out and see what our total price is. Because like I said, you know, I'm a budget guy. And if I get way over my budget, I get upset. So let's go see how much all this stuff is going to cost. Guys, look at that. We did way better than I thought we were going to do. We kept it at $22. That's incredible for what we got. What really helped us is that that tackle box was only $2.88 right there. See, I thought that was like $7 right there, but clear organization, something like that. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so we did really good. I would challenge anybody out there to make a better fishing kit than that for less than $25. I mean, I had money to spare. I could have got one, one more like $2 lure or $2 bag of lures or something still came under $25. So that challenge has been issued. <laughs> Look at that finished product right there, guys. Oh, God, there's a crawl trying to escape. Get your butt back in there, man. Look at that right there. Tell me that you couldn't go pretty much anywhere right now. Pond, lake, whatever, and catch fish with this. Got the little the crankbait, the frog. Everything's all organized and separated. Jigs, spinnerbait. Got the terminal at the bottom. There's the worms. There's the crawls. I mean, guys, is this beautiful or what? If you guys are still watching, I thank you sincerely for being awesome members of the Lojo Fishing Fan, but you're gonna wanna keep watching. You probably can already guess why, but I would highly encourage you to hang around to the end of this video. But in the meantime, I hate, I hate filming videos like this where I don't actually fish, so I've decided to share some hidden archival footage from my trip to Jacksonville a couple weeks ago with Kicking Her Bass TV and Fishing with Norm. Okay, we did a lot of crazy stuff. That's when we had that terrible encounter with that crazy guy at that pond who was trying to fight us. But during that trip, we also caught a bunch of fish. And this one particular clip that I'm gonna show you guys, we were at this residential pond, tiny little pond, and we were just catching a billion fish, right? But the only problem is they were all tiny. So sit back, enjoy these clips from Jacksonville, archival footage never seen before, and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. About to get slammed this popper, Holmes. There he is, with the popper. Not a big fish, but dude, he just came up and slurped it, man. He freaking slurped it. Norm, we doubled up! Norm's got one on the fluke. I'm still throwing the Do not hook me, bro. You might really. All right, little buddy. Thank you for that, that was fun. Good job, man. Thank you. That was fun. I just picked up the popper again. I was throwing it. Oh, finally, finally, jeez. And I got a freaking stick. Literally hooked a stick. Stop it, stop it. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. He choked that sucker too. All right, one on the popper, finally. Whee, get back out of here, buddy. Look at this freaking turtle about to mess with me. Look, he just tried to eat it. He just poured it under, look, oh, <laughs> I, I think that was a bass. I think a bass was trying to take it from the turtle. Wait, right here, Norm. Three of us do next. Ah! What is going on? 
<laughs> the outro never ends. It will never end. Oh, it's a no, of that guy. Not as long as we have anything right. to say about it. Well, while we're over here, subscribe to Lojo. Yeah. Just subscribe to old Slow Joe, who can't grab a bass by his head. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Slow Joe for the win. <laughs> you heard him. I think we were having a competition that night to see who could catch the smallest bass. And I don't even know who won or who lost, however you want to look at it. But I hope you guys enjoyed that clip. But anyways, this fishing kit right here. Obviously, I'm going to give this thing away to one of you guys because you guys came up with the idea to make my own fishing kit. You guys really, really wanted to see that. So I wanted to make this video for you and then give you the opportunity to win the actual fishing kit. Never been used before. I'm going to seal it up. That's how it's going to stay right as you saw it. I can sign the box for whoever wins it. I mean, I can do literally whatever you want. If you want me to leave it alone, don't sign it. I mean, literally whatever you want, just let me know. So to enter to win this beautiful handmade DIY Walmart $25 fishing kit, all you have to do, like, like you guys already know, like this video, hit the thumbs up button, and make sure you subscribe to my channel with the bell notification turned on. I will choose a random subscriber, and in my next upload, I will put the giveaway winner, the homemade fishing kit giveaway winner, or whatever it says. And if you see your name, your Google name, hit me up. I have social media, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. I also have email, lojo.fishing at gmail.com, so you can contact me any of those ways. I'll get the fishing kit shipped right out to you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep flooding that comment section with video ideas, and I will keep using them. I'm getting out of here, guys. On to the next fishing adventure. Fist bump, I'm out.